Hi guys, time for another Steelbook review and today I have the movie Ponyo. This is an animated Japanese movie and it's from the Studio Ghibli collection. I did have My Neighbor Totoro on order alongside this. Unfortunately that hasn't turned up, that's stuck in a parcel that Royal Mail still has. So I'm a bit disappointed about that, but oh well. So yes, I have uh, Ponyo, this is an animated uh, movie from Japan. My daughter's six years old now and I want to broaden her horizons. I wanted to see other animated movies that are not just from Walt Disney or from DreamWorks Productions. Saw this a long time ago. I really enjoyed it and I think she will too. Let's have a look at the uh, steelbook itself. Now, many steelbooks seem to be advertised in a certain colour and then they turn out to be silver, which can be very disappointing. I had a strong feeling that this was going to be the case with these steel books, yes they have turned up silver and I'm actually quite surprised that I still like it and I, and I do, I think um, the whole metallic look of the of the artwork is, is kind of nice, you get it in certain lights, it looks a certain way and then you get it in others and it looks like that. I know it's definitely not for any everybody and I know um, some people will be disappointed with how it looks but um, from how bad sil these silver ones can turn out um, maybe I'm easily pleased that I, I like it so much <laughs> especially that I've been getting damaged um, steelbooks in the past and, and this one's turned out to be in good condition but yeah I'm happy with it on the back it's got some nice artwork too there you go and it's a, and it's a good choice of artwork too you know it's nice on the front, I, I like that with the, the, the they're going for this circle style and uh, on the whole series. I've only decided to go for the two I've I've mentioned this one and my neighbor de Toro. Uh, they got Howl's Moving Castle as well, um, as well as in this steelbook collection, and hopefully Spirited Away next year. Fingers crossed. Let's have a look inside. We've got a DVD and the Blu-ray. Discard is the same. And we've got some nice inside artwork. Let's pop these discs off. There you go. Nice choice of inside artwork. I really like that. Just show you the spine. You've got the Studio Canal. And you've got this Studio Ghibli uh, branding there at the bottom. There you go. Okay, the audios on this are English 5.1 LPCM. Now, I wasn't really familiar with that one, so I checked it out, and apparently that's a, a very good um, type of audio to have for uh, a Blu-ray. And it also has Japanese 6.1 DTS master audio as well, and just English subtitles. Now, I'll probably play it in English for my daughter, and if I watch it on my own, I would like to watch it in the in the Japanese and with the English subtitles on. So that's uh, that's pretty good. It's region B locked, but it does have a ton of extras. It has uh, storyboard and trailers, um, TV spots, interviews, and a ton of other stuff and music videos and stuff like that. So I'm really pleased that they've put a lot of uh, special features in here, and it's not just a a plain old disc with just the movie on and overall I'm happy I picked it up and I think it's a nice still book and I'm looking forward to hopefully getting my neighbor to Toro as quickly as possible I'll catch you later